What's up guys and welcome back. Uh, we're out here in Springfield, Missouri. So as you guys saw last night, we were in uh, Junction City in Iowa. I think, yeah, we were in Iowa. <clears throat> Made it down or no, it wasn't Iowa. I don't know. It's, it's been a long week. Uh, just about burned out a uh, full 70-hour cycle in five days again. Um, anyway, we went and picked up that unit, which, as you saw, was an old one. Uh, lesson learned. Pay attention to the details when you're selecting a load. I saw Valley View RV. I assumed that meant it was a dealership, and I saw it was going to a private residence. I was like, okay, cool, you know, someone, uh, someone bought a unit, they want it delivered to their house. Easy day. Well, <laughs> that was not the case. Uh, it was an old unit that had all sorts of problems. Um, all four tires were half flat. The left turn signal was out. The uh, emergency breakaway cable was fraying. There was a bunch of wiring issues. The battery was completely dead. So that was that was fun. That was a that was a headache. Uh, we got all that taken care of and then we had a 40 foot old as all hell trailer that we had to deal with uh, did pull really nice had a whole lot of tail swing because the axles were so far forward and then got to dude's house and it was a uh <clears throat> backwoods, back road, middle of nowhere house, uh, road barely wide enough to get the street walker down, and then trying to deal with his trailer through the corners, and then we get there and half of his driveway is washed out, and it was, it was a nightmare. It took me probably an hour to drop that unit just tr because trying to get it into his driveway with missing half of the driveway uh, had to use four wheel drive slung mud all over the truck it's uh yeah it was fun uh, looked on the load board there was one load in my area um, by the time I deadhead down and got it and then spent the fuel to go get it I would have made maybe 200 bucks and then I would be sitting in West Virginia all weekend because they won't accept the delivery until Monday. So I figured I, instead of making two, maybe $300 and then spending all weekend in a truck stop eating uh, truck stop food, I just started heading towards Indiana for the main hub. Uh, wound up here in Springfield, Missouri, and my my MC has a chapter here, so a couple of those guys are on their way to come hang out. We're gonna go grab dinner. Uh, and then tomorrow, I'll make it up to Lafayette, Indiana, where I will park and do a, a 34 there, and back on the road Monday. Uh, we also have a chapter in, in Lafayette. That's why I'm, I'm heading up there. So I'll spend the weekend with them and then uh, get on the road Monday. Not sure where we're going. Uh, there's a few loads that kind of got my got my attention right now, but uh, I'm gonna wait and see what pops up Monday. Not sure where we're going. Um, keeping an eye on Wyoming, kind of waiting for all of that to look good before I even consider 
heading back home. And I don't really want to head home just yet. Uh, there's a lot of money to be made out here in the east. And living in Idaho, it's hard to get out east. So now that I'm here, I want to run. So I'll probably run a full other 70 cycle here. Do another reset. And then start making my way back home. Anyway, it should be just about time for me to get in the shower. There was three guests ahead of me waiting. So I'm going to go ahead and get myself cleaned up. I'm going to go out and have me a nice dinner with some of the brothers. And uh, don't know that I'll upload over the weekend just because there's not going to be anything to share. But moral of the story, thoroughly read the description of your units. I don't know if it said RV park on it or if I just missed the park part. I don't know. Uh, anyway thoroughly read the descriptions before you select a load. Um, no way I would have taken that one had I known exactly what it was. It was... Well, I might have. It was only about an hour out of my way, and it was almost 500 bucks. Uh, spent like 120 in, in fuel, so... Overall, I think it was worth it. Anyway, as always, those of you out on the roads, I wish you fair winds and following seas. Take care and have a great day.